of Gigi. The lovely, the sweet, and the oh, very, very, very affectionate. And she is being very cuddly today, and she didn't see me in a few days because of my exams. So she is, so she is very, very affectionate and glad to see me and keeps on uh, headbutting me so I pet her some more. She's definitely, uh, she's definitely been uh, moody according to uh, Mary. Um, and that's just because she's a very social girl so she likes to be around people and she didn't see me for a couple of days so she got a little, a little sad about that. But I have good news. The good news is that her blood work came in and it is good and it is great and it is super, super good news. Um, well, it's not, okay, so she, her blood count now is 20. So the, that's the, I think it's called the hematocrit or something. Anyway, so it's 20 and originally she had five and five is really, really bad. 20 is anemic, but not, not nearly that bad and her her last blood test was 15 so it's an improvement from that and it's a and it's definitely an improvement from her first one by the way like Gigi has the weirdest habit of actually using her litter box for something other than um, litter I think it's because um, the litter that Mary uses is actually quite nice it's this um, kind of like wood it's very, very foresty, so I don't think she can tell the difference between that and just being in the woods and like having just wood chips on the ground. So she's, uh, she'll use it for lounging around sometimes, which I kind of find amusing. Also, I mean, it's a cage, so there's not that much space. And she, Gigi definitely loves moving around and really being mobile and active. As you can see. Oh, and there we have a trademark Gigi flop. Oh, well, I think that was Gigi saying, you know, I'm not feeling belly rubs today. <laughs> I love it. She flops and then she's like, uh, you know what? Belly flops, maybe another day. Uh, do your hero hood. So let's do a roommate review. So Gigi. so Gigi's newest roommate is this Kin. Hi Kin, how are you? I do not know whether this Kin has a name yet, but we will, I can find out. And then there's these two, which are miss which are of course the little hissy kittens who are clearly not into hissing right now. But as you can see, the black one is sleeping and the green white one is watching me and being like, oh man, I know who you are, but I don't know, understand why you keep on taking videos of me. And then we have these guys, everybody's favorite. Well, okay, Gigi's everybody's favorite, but these guys are the favorites of the kins. Oh, you've heard that meow, by the way. That meow is Gigi. And she wants to say that I should not be paying any attention to cute kittens when there is a cute Gigi afoot. In fact, she is quite upset that I called anybody everybody's favorite besides her. I am very sorry, Gigi. You are, of course, my favorite. Which I'm sure, and I am sure that you are cuter than any kitten. See, I, I, I wonder... Uh, I think Gigi's a friendly cat and she would do good well in a home with multiple cats, but sometimes I wonder because she is just such an attention hog. I think that in a real life situation though, she wouldn't be so much of an attention hog because she'd have you all day. So even if there was another cat, it won't be a big deal. But yeah, I wonder. Okay, so this has been the Gigi report. And Gigi, would you like to say anything for she wants to say, pet my chin, pet my chin. Oh, I know, I know, Gigi. 
it, it feels so good. Okay, that's had been the Gigi Report.